lines consist of straight line segments. Before you draw your first line, look at the command line and notice that it currently prompts you to type a command. Anytime you see this, it means that there is no command active. Instead, the program is waiting for you to start a command. To create a line, move the cursor over the line tool in the draw panel on the home ribbon, but do not click yet. Notice that when you move the cursor over a button, a tooltip appears that tells you basic information about that tool. The tooltip then expands to display more information. In this case, the extended tooltip shows that with the line command, you can create a series of contiguous line segments and that each segment is a line object that can be edited separately. Now click the line tool. When you start the line command, on the command line, you can see that the line command is now active. You can see the name of the command. You can also see that the program is prompting you to specify first point. Notice that you can also see this same prompt adjacent to the cursor. This is called dynamic input. It is a very handy feature because you can see what the program is expecting you to do next without having to take your eyes off the cursor and look back down at the command line. Click anywhere in the drawing to specify the starting point of the line. As soon as you specify the starting point, the prompt changes. Now the program is prompting you to specify next point. And in the command line, you are prompted to specify next point or undo. Notice that you can see a line extending from the point you just picked to the cursor. That line stretches as you move the mouse. Click to pick another point. As soon as you do, the program creates a line between the two points you specified and the prompt repeats. It again tells you to specify next point. When you click to pick another point, the program draws another line segment and the prompt repeats again. But notice that the prompt in the command line has changed. It now prompts you to specify next point or close, undo. And the words close and undo are inside square brackets and have a gray background. Whenever you see anything inside square brackets on the command line, those are options. That means that in addition to specifying the next point, you can choose one of those options. And there are several different ways that you can choose one of those options. You can type the capital letter corresponding to the option you want to select, or you can simply click on the option in the command line. For example, click the Undo option, and the program eliminates the line segment you just created. You could have also typed the letter U and pressed Enter, but clicking the option is much faster. If you click Undo again, the line segment before that is removed. You can actually keep undoing the previous line segment until you have removed the very first line segment that you created, in which case the command goes back to its very first prompt, specify first point. Click to specify a point again to create one line segment. With just one line segment created, the only option available is undo. Now, pick another point to create a second line segment. Once you have created two or more line segments, the Close option becomes available. When you select this option, the program draws a line segment from the end point of the most recent line back to the very first point you specified when you started the line command. This also ends the command. You can see that the command has ended because in the command line, the program once again tells you to type a command.